one of the few who tried to preserve a semblance of humanity were members of the medical corps of the parties to this conflict. Hello, sir. My name is Grissing, the head doctor of this hospital. If I may speak freely, sir, we expected more than just an officer's rank to support our current situation. Sir, our defensive line has been broken. Multiple casualties. The 36th Division is in retreat. Oh my! That is terrible news. Ah, another bunch of those poor bastards will be here soon. I'll better check our stocks. What about the hospital? Are we to evacuate the facility? No, sir. HQ gives us no such orders, sir. In fact, there were no orders for us. It does not really matter right now. We should focus on helping the survivors. Germans started dropping gas on our trenches! I need you to heal my man, Major, as fast as you can. Sir, may I speak with you? Of course. Always on your mind. The plague that broke out, sir, it is taking a heavy toll on the civilians. The plague that hit the hospital did not strip us only of the lives of our friends and comrades in arms, but also took part of our spirit. Despite this, we have to fight, although the darkness surrounds us from every possible side. But perhaps we are the dust that will meet the morning light someday. I cannot protect the trenches with so few! The perversity of war. Is a man in a different uniform a different man? Would they do the same for us? I guess I'll never find out. You have to live on. And although now I can see that we will not save everyone, we must give hope to those we are trying to save.